with noise remover without noise remover with noise remover without noise remover Alright, in today's video, I am going to show you how you can easily remove any background noise or static noise from any audio that you have in your DAW. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Here in my track 4 in FL Studio, I have a solo guitar with background noise or static noise on it. So, uh, for you to know, let's have a listen. Here we go. So the background uh, static noise is very clear. It's uh, visibly clear in your ear and I can hear it clearly and I want to remove it, okay? So with that, I am going to use another um another plugin. And um let me check the plugin I am going to use right now and it's oh, let me check. It's uh it's called Sound Soup from Antares. Here we go with the plugin. It's AutoTune Sound Soup from Antares. So what I'm going to do first is to make this plugin learn what needs to be removed from the audio. And for that to happen, I am going to zoom in the this audio that has the the background noise that I want to remove. And in track 4, this is the one that I I'm talking about with background noise on it that we played earlier. So I want to highlight this part where the background noise is visible and clear in our ear so that the this software or this plugin will be able to learn what needs to be removed from this audio without affecting the main audio which is the guitar in here only the background noise will be removed so for that to happen we need to press play in here okay this this software is already recognizing the um, this background noise the background noise has already been detected and we need to click learn here here it is it's already learning what needs to be removed you can hear that there is already an improvement after clicking learn but it's not enough I want to make sure that most of them will be totally removed okay so for that to happen you only need to to dial this noise tuner this big knob in here you need to dial this to the right and then if it's not enough you need to actually the main knob that you need to to tweak is this noise reduction knob in here in the center so dial this all the way to the right and here we go so as what you can hear there is already a lot of improvement okay though the the background noise is still there but at least I think it's 80 to 90 percent of the background noise were already removed using this plugin okay so let's try to hear the entire audio with this plugin turned on it's already turned on so let's play it without um, having it highlighted on the background noise only here we go Oops, let's just focus on this audio in here in track 4. So let me highlight only the track 4 audio so that we can loop this. what you have noticed a lot of the background noise has already been removed by this plugin okay and um, let's try to bypass this plugin so this is the raw 
let me press click play okay without uh, without plugin with noise remover without noise remover with noise remover without noise remover with noise remover okay so as what you can hear um, a lot I think it's 90 to 95 percent of the background noise has been totally removed okay and if if you think that the audio is affected you only need to increase the boost of this audio just add boost to it a little bit more just two decibel three decibels I mean let's play it again just two decibel And now since um, if you think that the audio is still uh, affected and you want to enhance the audio you can just uh, use this part in here the enhance section so you can enhance the low section or the mid section or the high section okay so I uh, for me I'm going to enhance a little bit on the low and mid frequencies and here we go just 17% and let's play the audio again and let's let's add noise reduction a little bit more let's increase this knob all the way to the right I think that's all uh, the background noise has been uh, though it's not completely removed but um, I'm pretty sure it's 85 to 90 percent of that background noise has been completely removed by this um, auto tune su sound to plugin from Antares so um, I like this plugin and now one thing I've noticed is that it consumes less of your CPU resources so I think that's all for now. I hope you uh, found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button. And if you want to be updated with whenever I upload new videos, don't forget to ring the notification bell. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.